In a diagram below of circle O, chords J, T, and E, R intersect at M. If E, M is equal to 8, and R, M is equal to 15, then the lengths of J, M, and T, M could be... So what this question is really asking for is whether or not you recall the theorem involving intersecting chords inside of a circle. So if I have, let's say, chord A, which is partitioned by another chord, and I'm calling the partitions here A1 and A2, and then I'm calling the other partition uh, chord B, B1 and B2, <clears throat> both chords do not have to bisect each other, they don't have to uh, intersect in any kind of proportion, but what does hold true is this. The partitions of chord A, if I multiply them together, the products of those of the partitions of chord A will equal to the products of the partitions of chord B. So that relationship will hold true. So if I have A times 15, right, that's um, chord RE here, right? If I have 8 times 15, this will give me uh, 120. So what I'm looking for is two numbers that multiply to 120. So what two numbers multiply to 120? Uh, definitely would not be 1 because 12 times 10 gives us 120. And um, 9.5 is less than 10. Uh, 8 times 14 gives us, uh, it might be 8 times, uh, it might be 14 times 8.5, just going by my number sense here. Let's take a look. 14 times 8.5. Let's see here. 14 times 8.5. Is that it? Nope, that's close though. Uh, and then let's see, 16 times 7.5. I think that might be it now. 16 times 7.5. That's 120. So that would be option three. 18 times 6.5 would not work. It would go over times 6.5. See? Well, actually, it went under. It's, under, uh, it's 117 only. So that's it. <clears throat>